Okay, this is the first core principle or core concept of superfood addicts and diabetes destroyers. And that is, you need to realize, if you're not in the shape or the health you want to be in, it's not your fault. It isn't your fault. Maybe a little bit your fault, partially, but for the most part, it is not your fault. Don't beat yourself up, don't hate yourself, and most importantly, don't give up. You're going to be learning a lot of things that are going to help you along the way. For one, we get blitzkrieg just wiped out by marketing attacks in print, on the radio, on TV, across the internet, everywhere. Text messages, emails, the works. A lot of it is about food, and a lot of it is just downright wrong. Many foods will have the pretty packaging and they'll boast of one thing that's great. Oh, wow, we've got this much protein, but they don't tell you about 10 other bad things that are reasons you shouldn't eat it. So remember, it's not your fault. You're going to get better and better and better. Next year is likely to be your healthiest year in a long time. We're going to show you what all the sugars are, where they are, how to find them. More importantly, it's going to be fun. You're going to play word search and things like that. You're just going to do so much better. But remember, not your fault. Little by little, you will take control. You will play a game with diabetes and you will win. You can defeat diabetes. Trust me, just work on it. I am using notes again. One of the biggest things is, the, again, the convenience of these foods. They're just everywhere. They're in end aisles when we shop. They're right there at the checkout. They're everywhere in front of us, enticing us with their aromas, their look, the pictures. We need to be able to see it for what it is. A lot of it is just downright toxic for us. And this brings to another fact. We go by taste, or at least what we think is taste. Well, just like the waking dead, as I call it, they, they, you have the TV show The Walking Dead, and that's zombies that are wandering around, munching on your brains and things like that. <clears throat> the waking dead are what I call the taste buds. Our taste buds have been so obliterated by sugars, salts, and fats, primarily sugars, that they don't taste anymore. You really have no idea what food tastes like. All you are getting is varying degrees of sugar, fat, and salt. You need to go on a hiatus, a complete break from a lot of these dense sugary foods and give your taste buds a chance to renew themselves. You would be surprised how good some foods actually taste when you can taste them. Another dilemma working against us is when we go to the fast food aisle or the fast food drive through and place the order and then they say do you want to supersize that? Get even more extra sugar, fat, salt, calories, carbs, than way more than we need, way more than we even wanted when we went in. You gotta start taking control, learning the games they use against you and play the game to win. That's what we're going to teach you. You're going to be able to figure out how to win and defeat diabetes. It's coming. We are gearing up big time. A couple other things. Just remember, it's not your fault. We are going to get going very soon. Start finding potential buddies to work with. Bring in a small team, at least one other partner to work with as you go through this system and program. Bring somebody with you. Pull somebody in to be a member to the Superfood Addicts group. Have them visit the website. Check us out. Let's get going. Let's get involved. I will bring to you number two of the Superfood Addicts core concepts very soon and that one will be we've got to fix your blood that's where it all starts see you for 
Superfood Addicts Core Concepts number two, the blood, very soon.